is I am going to do a journal on this book. You remember the painting book that I want to do, like a uh, journal paint page. Um, I did this one, the future canvas, without the, the little journaling, but I thought I'd add it anyway. But today, and I just totally messed up the, um, the gesso right there, but it's okay. It's kind of bumpy already. Um, today I'm going to work on another one that I want to kind of play with. I have these, um, uh, pattern paper here. I'm just going to glue on. Wow, it's working really oddly. Glue on just randomly. And then... I'm going to use different colors of tissue paper, and that's going to be my background. And the um, inspiration for this, see, I'm rusting into my, dear, oh dear, I'm rusting into my glue. Can't leave this one in there. Um, the idea, it's looking really yucky, is from Annie Cotier. And... Coach here. I'm not sure how you say. It. I always have to. For when that word, when I see it, the name, I have a French kind of accent that comes out. So I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it. Coach here, coach here. I don't know. But so I am going to mod podge my back on there because I just love textured art. And yes, I can paint on the canvas, but for me, sometimes, almost most of the time. I prefer to add some backing to it, like some something that kind of just pops out a little bit in the back there, you know. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to add my stuff and not worry about how it looks, where it goes. I'm just going to add it, have some texture and some color. It's not just white, but the gesso's nice. And I don't care if it's wrinkled. So anyways, from I was going to say from her flower tutorial she's done, um, making some easy flowers for art journaling. I'm just going to kind of do that, those flowers, like, um, you know, Van Gogh type of thing, like not a realistic. And go with that, because I thought, well, I'm going to try it out and... Um, do it, the idea of the flower, and um, with my background that I really love. So, that's what I'm going for. And like I said, it doesn't matter to me how much is um, crazy here for lines and, little, you know, how much you can read or whatever. It doesn't matter to me don't matter to me because it's just about having a nice back nice coverage and it's just going to have that look you're going to see it after so I don't know if I mentioned this before guys but I use my um, emery board like a thicker one I have these and I just use these once the paints or the glue is dry and I just sand them down just down so then you don't tear up the paper and that's how I get all the edges nice I don't have to come around with the with the scissors I just do that so just to let you know I'm not sure if I told you guys the last time when I was doing this one so I'm telling you now so I'm going to use some napkins and I know they have flowers on them, but I don't care. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to tear off some of this edging that's blue. Because I'm not sure how, what position I'm going to use the napkins on. Or the beige. Oh my goodness. What language am I talking, speaking in? It's all crazy. So I'm going to put some of this blue up here and as the sky. And I don't care that the flowers are there. I'm just going to go for that look. Filling up my 
page with some nice color that's not going to be too because like the, the bright is going to be my nice flowers and time to put on here I got a little bit more on there, but that's good. So now I have some paper napkin on here. It's for some background color. Isn't that nice? not about the, the flowers or anything in the background, it's just a nice blue that's showing. That's what I like. And that's what I wanted. Let's see what we have here. What else do we have? I could put a little green down. I'm not going to put it full across. Like I'm going to leave some of the pattern paper showing so it's nice. And I'm just going to go put some of this it's like a totally um, I don't know the word I'm looking for a collage of what you expect a blue sky green ground but um, of paper napkins and different designs in the napkins but hey it's all good I have this one here. I wonder if I can just throw this in here for, um, I don't know. I'm just going to throw it aside here for a little extra pop of color. It just seems to want to go here. It wants to go right here. And there we go. I think that's it, but I'm going to look through my colors and see if anything pops out at me. I think I'm going to use some of the centerpiece of my tissue paper here for some of this really nice popped out color. Popped out color. I think. No, I'm not going to use it this time. That's it. So I'm going to dry this up now. So I am now going to grab these paints. Um, this brush. I'm not sure if I like this brush. This one here. I think actually I will choose this stuff. We will go with this kind of flimsier one because be more spontaneous with it. I'm just going to try the whole flower thing. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to go with the red, yellow, and orange and see how I like it. I'm not sure. I don't know if I've ever actually tried anything quite like this, just being so spontaneous with it. Now I'm going to see my brush off, going with the orange, which is not that great of an orange. It's very, as you can see, Um, dry. I'm just gonna try my best with what I got here. Go with the yellow. This one's got a little bit yellow and orange in the brush. So And there are my flowers.
I'm going to probably dry that up. I'm not, just so then it's not mixing. Good enough. Oh, I'm a little thick on that, but it's okay. So I'm going to grab my, oh, I'm just going to grab another sticky note pad. I'm going to grab my green. So I'm going to start with a dark green, I think. And then I'm going to have my layer green. And I'll grab this brush here. And just probably probably go down like this. And try to get a stem I'm going to turn it right down I think you could do that actually I was going to go that way but I'm not going to do this way Just keep playing like that, just like this. I don't know. Add some green on there as well, I think. So these are my now kind of poppy. And you know, poppy stems are not really that um, thick, but they're still strong, so they still hold up the flower, but they, they do move around quite a bit. Oh, this one's the wrong green, that's okay. Put a little bit of dark in there. 